The dosage calculations in this section work basically the same way as the last section, so we're only going to do a couple of examples. So this says that we want to do furosemide 20 milligrams in, in IV. So we're going to start with 20 milligrams over 1. And this again tells us that we have 10 milligrams equal to 1 milliliter per milliliter. So we're going to write that as a fraction. We're going to put the 10 milligrams on the bottom and the 1 milliliter on top. That makes the milligrams cancel out. Multiply straight across. So we have 20 times 1 is 20. 1 times 10 is 10. This is in milliliters. 20 divided by 10 is 2 milliliters. So this patient would get 2 milliliters of the IV fluid. Here, a physician orders heparin 5,000 units. So we're going to start with 5,000 units over 1. The heparin label reads that there are 10,000 units per milliliter. So that's telling us that we have 10,000 units equal to 1 milliliter. So we're going to use that to write our fraction. We'll put the 10,000 units on the bottom because the other units were on the top. And that leaves the 1 milliliter on the top. So here the units will cancel out. We multiply straight across. 5,000 times 1 is 5,000. Still have milliliters. 1 times 10,000 is 10,000. If we take 5,000 divided by 10,000, we get 0 0.5 milliliters. Remember we always divide from the top down. So 5,000 divided by 10,000.